Hi. Alright friends, by now you know how this works. I have video games that I have got, I, I don't even know where I got them, like probably garage sale or a bookstore or who the hell knows. And I recently found them again. So I'm, I'm going to show you them so I can put them on shelves so I can appreciate them. Like outside of a plastic bag, because that's where they all live right now and it's very sad. And if any of you are like, what the fucking right now, let me tell you, is I find video games at garage sales, I put them in a bag, and then I store them away for videos like this. But then what happens is they get moved, they get misplaced, and then they sit, and then I forget about them. So it's always fun for me, because it's like it's my first time seeing them all over again. The first game I have is... Oh, told you it's so exciting. Huh? I don't know, can you see? Is my Dragon Age shrine visible from here? What side is it on? Oh, there it is. There it is. Hey, see this? Can you see this? I don't know if you can see what, what I'm doing right now. Hey, oh, yeah, two copies, yeah. Even though I think Dragon Age Origins plays infinitely better on PC, the 360 version has a soft spot in my heart because that is the first platform I played it on, so, you know, you know. The next game I have is uh, Jack and Dexter. Can't say I ever played any of these ones. I'm sad about that, but maybe one day I'll remedy it. I say that in every video about every game. <laughs> the next game is Kingdom Hearts 2. Ah, Kingdom Hearts. I'm gonna get some crap for this, but that's okay. So I have never played a Kingdom Hearts game before. I've seen them in action. I've seen all you diehard fans like lose your crap over Kingdom Hearts, and that's fantastic. I uh, wish I could join in, because like I said, I've never played one, so I don't quite understand the hype of all of it. Back in the day, I was a young, stupid girl, and I didn't want to get into Kingdom Hearts, because I didn't like the idea of Disney characters being inside the game, because I thought that the game would be too childlike, and I wouldn't get into it, blah, blah, blah. I think I was around 13, about the time this game came out. Well, this one came out in, uh, it doesn't say 2000, no, whatever. Point being is I never got into Kingdom Hearts, but it's something, it's a series that I really want to get into. I just feel like, you know, there's 18 Kingdom Hearts games and I don't know where the hell to start. So that's, I gotta do my research, but I'll get to it, I promise. The next game I have is Monster House. Fair enough. Is that based off of like a movie or something? Oh, I played this one. Yes, Final Fantasy 12. Yes. Final Fantasy 12. Yes, I'm trying to... How many times can I say Final Fantasy 12? Yes. I'm trying to think. For some reason, I get the impression... I mean, this game, when did this one come out? This came out in 2006, 2007, so I would have been about 18. And I feel like I, it didn't leave a very lasting impression on me, and I don't know why that is. I mean, I couldn't tell you because I played it so long. That was 10 years ago. But uh, it's, I think it's a game I would try playing again. I just... Yeah, like I, I, people talk about that game and I'm just like, eh. I really liked, um, what was her name? The bunny girl, not, it wasn't Freya, was it? Freya's in Final Fantasy IX. Uh, whatever, who, whatever she is, this, this chick right here, she's hot. I used to just like, <laughs> this doesn't sound creepy, but I used to just like watch her walk and just be completely mesmerized by it. I'm like, how does one's hips work that way? Incredible. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, Final Fantasy X too. <laughs> well, we can talk about this one too. Uh, get it? Okay. So Final Fantasy X, I loved to pieces. I really enjoyed that game. I loved Blitzball. I liked the leveling grid. I loved all of that kind of stuff. And I really liked the story. Um, Final Fantasy X too, I never, I never even, I don't think I even tried playing it. I just, something about it turned me off from the very beginning. And I think I remember like my grandma, who also plays video games, so that she didn't enjoy it very much. And so I think that just kind of like turned me off because she has never led me astray. That said, I think it is a game I should play, especially now that the isn't the HD remaster or HD whatever is out. So, one day, kind of like Kingdom Hearts, one day. <laughs> the next game is God of War. Good. I feel like, okay, God of War. So, uh, for those of you who may be sort of new to my channel, when I moved, how many years ago was that? I mean, three something years, three, four years ago, I think a box of my PlayStation 2 games were stolen because I'm very short on God of War copies because I would find them at garage sales all the time. So I had at least like five or six and now I can't find any of them. So whenever I can get a God of War game, I am very happy. But uh, now I'm gonna completely like sound weird when I say that I'm really not a huge fan of God of War, of these kind of God of War games. I'd say these because the new one looks completely different and I'm totally all about that. Uh, just for the, the reason that I'm really bad at hack and slash games, I'm really bad at games where you need to know combos, I'm terrible at them, so I just usually play on the easiest difficulty and button mash and hope for the best. Last, but certainly not least. Oh! Fuck yeah! This is a good, this is a good haul! This is like the Final Fantasy haul. 
official title of the episode right there, Final Fantasy Hall. Like I said earlier, I love Final Fantasy X. Uh, really enjoyed it. I always, this is funny, I always felt like kind of jaded though because I, Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy game ever. You can see my little shrine for it like in this area. I'm so bad at it. this like camera on cue shit. Um, and I always thought that why couldn't Final Fantasy IX have been made when Final Fantasy X was made so I could have had voice acting and really good graphics because I had a crush on Zidane and I wanted to see him in high def. Anyway, point being, I really liked Final Fantasy X. Well, that'll do it for this video. Weird accent. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.